Hey, what's up? Just got up. Checking in on the latest bullshit um, with um, the world. Shaking my head. Shaking my head. Where's the wisdom? Where is it? Where where are the where are the smart people? Where do they go? Yesterday was a, a really unfortunate two for for the music community. Um, two different generations. Um, you know, I spoke about Gary Brooker from Procol Harum, and then later in the day we hear that Mark Lanigan, who um, is known for um, from the band Screaming Trees, I think he had um, involvement with uh, Queens of the Stone Age, something else to do with the gutter. I don't have any gutter uh, Mark Lanigan um, music in my collection. I have a couple of Queens of the Stone Age things. But he's not on those. He had a wonderful voice. Uh, I'm, um, when it comes to what I'm following and interested in, th what he was doing and what he does, kind of like Nick Cave, is, is, is only of marginal interest to me, but I recognize his um, artistry. And he had, a, he had a beautiful voice. So I... Uh, uh, Rest in, rest in peace, Mark Lanigan. I appreciate that people are, I feel like um, my presence is turning a corner regarding me and my, my um, music. I'm still getting orders. Yes, I will sign this for you. Um, Jesse, yes, I'll sign this for you. I have more for sale. And um, it feels good. I haven't properly reviewed this because it's so heavy. Eclectic Maybe Band. Again, Allure. This is really good. And the, it, but it's also really multifaceted. Um, I'll tell you this much because I have listened some of it, but I got to listen some more because this is deep listening stuff. The music has a wide palette. Guy um, opens that bag up again here that he was working in in Universe Zero. Among other things, that's why this is a good name for the band, is eclectic, maybe, very eclectic. So some things seem really wide and open and airy, almost spatial. And then, and then other tracks, I can't say specific names right now because I have to listen more. But other tracks are almost like you're in a dungeon or in a dank basement. Very evocative. As I listened to this, I thought to myself, you know, I could have participated in this. I could, I could have played on this. I could have. This is good. I love the fact that my friends, people I know are on here. I feel like I know them. I haven't met them yet, but I feel like I know you. Carla, Dave, and Guy. He also has from um, Universe Zero Andy Kirk on here. And, and Pascal Vassell, I see now. I, know, I just noticed he's on here. He's worked with um, Carla before. Um, I highly recommend this, though. You know about his background, and if you are into that vein of music, you can't go wrong with this band. Eclectic Maybe Band. Um, I noticed that I got my mail late yesterday. I didn't get it until this morning when I got up. And there was a package. I just picked it up. I haven't listened yet. But I just got a package from Tim Jones, the leader of the band Cheer Accident. Do you know that band? They're Chicago-based. This looks like something new. By the yes, Jesus, is brand new. 2022 on Skin Graft. Cheer Accident is, a, is another wonderful, eclectic, progressive band that is hard to nail down. They 
incorporate many different elements in their music. The, this is just what I love. So this is a kind of wheelhouse that I'm more interested in always rather than say like um, like the vein of stuff that Screaming Trees, Mark Lanigan's work was in. That's why I don't own his records. But I recognize his artistry and I respect him. I also recognize by the outpouring yesterday on social media, where I'm at anyway, the love uh, for this man's work and artistry. You know, um, music and art really touches our lives deeply. It gives so much flavor to our lives. I can't imagine what life would be like if we didn't have that. If everything was just work and and making money, the people who are ruining life for everyone, these folks. That's what I see about all this mess, you know, with um, this Russia bullshit. It's like Putin. Putin's up to something. He wants something. He's waving his waving his dick around like I can do whatever I want. And just not even thinking about the people in Ukraine, in his country, our country, anywhere. Got everybody on the knife's edge, or wanting everybody on the knife's, knife's edge just because he wants something. Fuck these motherfucking leader politicians. Ugh. Yeah, I know I can turn the news off and turn the stereo on and just act like I don't know what's going on, but that don't work for me. I mean, I do but I feel it in the air, even if I don't watch the news, so that's why I always say something. Take care, people. Take care of yourselves, as always. Let me know how you're doing. Tell me what's going on.